All right, let me show you how easy and safe it is to connect this LG 16H Prime high voltage battery to this Solus inverter. Let me bring you in here. Take a look at the wiring inside there. Okay, here's all we have inside. You've got the main circuit breaker over here. You have three wires. You've got the positive, the ground, and a negative. This is just a little, small little number six cable. Then you have two communications cables here. One is, a, is an enable cable. The enable cable is used by the inverter to turn the battery on. Without a signal on this enable cable, there's no high voltage coming out of these wires here. This one is for your RS-485 communications. That's how the inverter gets the operating data from the battery, okay? These are setup switches here. You've got those cables coming out and going through this flex conduit into the inverter. So you've got your two, your, your positive negative over here and then the ground is over there. And then the two communications cables are in the back. Let me show you something here, how safe this is. If you were to turn this on, it takes a few seconds to initialize. Okay, now the battery's initialized. But there's no high voltage on these cables because there's no signal from the inverter telling it to turn on. Here, let me show you. We're going to probe the two battery cables here. We've got no voltage at all. So unless the inverter's on, telling the battery to start sending voltage, there's no voltage. You know, treat it with respect, but even with the, uh, the circuit breaker on, there's no voltage coming out of here. You know, when you're hooking things up, you wanna have the circuit breaker off, do all your connections up to the inverter, and then after, after your connections are done, then you can turn everything on. When the, when the inverter turns on, it'll send the signal to the battery to activate the contactor, and then you've got high voltage coming out of here. Before that, it's very safe. There's no high voltage at all to worry about. So unless you were to disassemble the battery and get into the cells, you don't have to worry about any high voltage at all here. All right, um, next section, I'm gonna show you a quick time lapse of this battery being assembled. And then we'll call it uh, we'll call it quits on this video. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next one.